before that, Goa it is, guys. So let's hear some cheer for Christ's sake. But no, not such a serious audience, even if it's a press All right, we can off to. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. And uh, since we're still in the first week of the new year, let me start uh, by wishing you uh, all um, all the best and happiness and health for uh, the year ahead of us. And for us at Indigo, probably the year could not have been starting better than uh, with this opening uh, today of this this wonderful new airport. Uh, so, wishing you all well for the for the new year and the year to come. Um, this is probably the first and maybe even the last uh, press gathering I'm having where I'm. Uh, more casually dressed than most of you, so uh, please apologize uh, for that. We we just wanted to, to match uh, the overall Goa atmosphere and the overall Goa setting here. Um, as uh, Lika just mentioned, it's a very special and very important day for us. Uh, this is the first um, and largest uh, ever opening of a new station, so right from the first day of operation we do have uh, 168 flights per week to eight different destinations and if you just look at the signs here or walk to the, the terminal itself you see the Indigo aircraft being ready to, to come and go here at the new airport. So uh, 168 flights uh, per week um, uh, in and out uh, as a total, uh, basically supplementing today's operation at the Dublin uh, airport. So we do have an operation at Dublin airport already today but as we all know the airport is uh, full. Uh, and this gives us a great opportunity to further accommodate all the needs for travel to and from uh, from Goa. Um, the airport basically has been long awaited for, but walking around here this morning, it, the result could not have been better. And I would really like to applaud the uh, the airport uh, facilities here for really bringing up such a, such a wonderful airport, uh, ready uh, to accommodate our customers. Uh, as I mentioned, we start with uh, uh, 12 flights per day, uh, 8 different destinations. That's just the beginning, there's more in store uh, as the year progresses. Uh, and with that number we do expect to end up this year roughly at 15 lakh, 1.5 million customers uh, to come in and out of this airport uh, right from the start in the first year of operating. And again, I think that speaks to the potential of Goa and speaks to the ambition of Indigo to keep uh, serving our customers in a hassle-free and courteous way, affordable fares, but also with a wonderful full network. Um, so I, I will not keep it too long, but the opening of the airport speaks to the ambition of Indigo. It's matching the ambitions of Goa. I had the privilege of spending a few days here uh, myself, and uh, I can only confirm uh, that the potential to further develop Goa here is, is just wonderful. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. For those who are not from uh, Goa itself, thank you for flying in with Indigo. I, uh, I'm sure that you'll have a, a good time here, especially when you come from the cold up north, uh, moving to the, the much more warm uh, south. So once again, welcome. And um, I'd like to supplement something when we go to the question straight away. Eight flights are in addition to the 436 flights a week that we fly to Dublin. So hold your breath, 604 flights a week to Goa alone. That shows our commitment to Goa, shows our commitment to the country, shows our commitment to the people here. Thank you. flights to one of the two airports, um, I mean considering that IGI, there are two terminals and often airlines say they don't want to operate out of two. I think I can be very clear on that. No, that's not the intention. We do have an operation today at uh, the Dublin airport, um, as Vinay just, just alluded on, with a very significant number of flights. These flights are doing very well, they're serving a part of the market. I think the ambitions for Goa and the potential for Goa are, are big and will, will continue to grow. So with that we'll be adding flights here and whenever we have the opportunities in terms of slots and timings, we'll add on the uh, Dublin airport as well. Just to uh, steer away from uh, uh, Goa, uh, today I think uh, you complete uh, more than three months at Indigo, uh, or four months. Precisely four. four. <laughs> Precisely four, yes. Precisely four. So, uh, what uh, has been your experience so far regarding your first stint uh, in an Indian airline and that too at the market leader uh, in terms of the challenges, opportunities and the way ahead? For months I've witnessed, uh, I would say firstly, uh, the recovery of the, the Indian aviation travel. If we see where 
the market was in, in August just prior to, to me joining and where the market is today and you all follow the statistics where month over month over month we see a, a healthy growth of traffic coming back. So I think one of the first observations is the growth of traffic. One of the other observations is the enormous professionalism of Indigo as an organization. 1,600 flights per day, uh, every day we, we operate at, welcoming over 2.5 lakh customers a day. So that's really an, an, a, a telling number. And we're, I would say that would be the next observation. We're adding more frequencies to our, to our network. So this is our 76th domestic destination. Uh, not, not so long ago, we inaugurated um, Holonga uh, Itanagar uh, as number 75. So we continue to add and to grow our network and to open up new destinations. If you just walk around here and you see the spirit and the motivation of the team and, 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 and of the customers. This morning, one of the customers gave me a handwritten card. He was so happy with his flight, waiting for the flight to come. I think that speaks to the way of Indigo in terms of connecting the country, connecting the people, and, and our team's doing a wonderful job. So I could not have been more blessed and, and, and privileged and happy with these four months that, that I'm here now. Uh, sorry, sir. Good morning. Uh, I just have a follow-up at Book to Dawoli. They have flights are now operating out of Mopa. And some of the staff has also been providing this information back. So if you could provide a little more clarity about uh, this, uh, what you mentioned about supplementing with Dawoli. Are you scaling down? Will this be a larger station compared to in Goa? For two people who want to book morning flights for North Goa and those people who want to book, uh, you know, later in the day they book for uh, Dabulin. How does it work? I mean, what is the, for a passenger who's wanting to fly to Goa, why should I uh, prefer one airport over the other? Uh, other? I think it's a matter of coincidence. Uh, these flights, as we have very rightly put, are supplementing the addition of the existing flights at Dabolim. Why should a person uh, choose one airport or another? I mean, uh, any large city, uh, London has Heathrow and Gatwick and Stansted and Luton, and so does New York, has Jersey and EWR, blah, blah, blah. It's, 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 the, it's the point of uh, the expansion of the traffic which drives more and more airplanes to a city. And in this case, Goa is welcoming more and more people. There is more industry, there is more trade, there is more tourism happening. This is anyways time of the year, which is for uh, holiday season, as well as uh, people wanting to come and enjoy the sunny environment vis-a-vis -vis the cold in the north and so on. Uh, these are just flights which are there to supplement the existing flights at Dabolim. Just to be clear to your point, supplementing means 